Oh, thank you so much so to the weather team. Um, just stay hydrated out there. So today uh, we are ge getting inspired from all corners. In fact, we're about to connect with a very inspirational figure right now, Stacey Lee Bregman, the accomplished South African professional golfer. Um, she is a force to be reckoned with and she is making her mark from her transition from karate, where we first connected with her, to golf uh, at 14 to her recent triumph at the Royal Johannesburg and Kensington Golf Club. Stacey shares her remarkable journey, travel adventures, and commitment to conservation. Um, she loves those free wild spaces and she's doing her part. So a very good morning, Stacey. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Um, it's so cool to connect with you. It kind of feels like, because we've, we've connected in the past in a very different space, um, but you are doing incredibly well, obviously, in this golfing space. And I'm so glad that we get to plug into you at this point. So congratulations on everything. And obviously the year has started incredibly well for you. What is that click? What has been the deciding shift you think that has kind of taken you into this new, because it's a trajectory now? Yeah, of course. I mean, professional sport is, uh, you have your roller coasters, you have your ups and your downs, and uh, definitely on the up. Had a nice break over, over December with the family in London and just, um, yeah, just really looking forward to starting the season off with a bang. I mean, just feeling fresh and ready and just in a good space. How do you prepare for golf? Because it's a business, okay? It's, it's one of those, that it's all on you. You can't rest. You've got a team around you, and I know it requires people assisting you in that space, but out there, it's all on you, and it can go either way. How do you brace? Does it start with a physical process, making sure that you've got all the tools in your bag, ready when you need them? Is it a mental focus to bring yourself into that space so it all falls into place? How do you prepare for a golfing season? Uh, it's, I mean, it's really tough. You've kind of just got to, I've been doing this for a while now, so hopefully the golfing gods and nature are good to me. You know, <laughs> for the year, you always pray for that. Um, but yeah, I mean, you've just, uh, you've got to just do the best that you can to prepare, you know? You, with golf and sport, you just, you don't know what's cut. You've got to be prepared for everything. And I think mentally, golf, what do they say? It's 90% mental, 10% mental. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a really tough game and you've just got to be prepared for everything. How do you do that in the moment? Because it's one thing and, and one shot can throw you. You can play beautifully for 90% of that round and one shot can, can end it all. How do you strengthen your mind for those sorts of moments? Is it sitting down with a sports psychologist and learning more about yourself? How do you go about the mental game? Yeah, so I work with someone uh, in the UK. Um, it's, uh, it's not as simple as just... Um, Feeling you know, good. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> because it can be really tough. Um, I think the more that you you in that experience and you have that... Um, in those moments, you learn more about yourself, and I think it becomes, I suppose, if you can say, easier, uh, even though it's not in the moment. But um, it's something that you just got to just keep back in yourself, even in those in those moments, because anything can anything can change. You might uh, you might make a you know you have a bad shot or whatever, but you never know what the next shot's gonna gonna bring. You can bring yourself back. Might so. be the best shot you've ever played. Exactly, because <laughs> it exactly. hasn't happened yet. Yeah, exactly. Um, I, I love that notion. There are pressure points in this game, and we've seen a massive advancement in the women's game. I think golf has probably been a forerunner of female sports development, just as a whole, because it commands TV time, which I think people forget is probably the most important component of sports. But in your journey, what have been the, those touch points, those pressure points for achieving success? And we're speaking to those that are following behind you now, because I think there are a lot of women who want to get stuck in, who want to embrace what looks like the most amazing career in professional sports, but there are hurdles. Of course, uh, yeah, definitely, of course there is. I mean, golf is a very expensive sport to start off with. And uh, with the likes of my sponsors, Investec, UK Gunite, all of that, you know, it wouldn't, it, be, yeah. it wouldn't be possible. You need to be able to have backers behind you to be able to, to reach where you need to be. Um, it's not just equipment, it's going to tournaments, there's huge expenses. Um, and I think uh, there's a lot of good companies that are, are back in women's golf and recognizing how I actually, it is one of the fastest growing sports at the moment among females. And um, it's, I mean, television time, we get in a lot of te television time now. Because games take a long time. That's exactly. the joy of the sport. There's <laughs> it's maximum branding space in a beautiful setting. I mean, yeah. it, it couldn't get better. What would you like to see change? As someone who has kicked down a lot of these doors yeah. yourself, what needs to shift, do you think? 
I mean, I'd love to see the prize purses being being raised. I'm not saying that it has to be exactly the same as the men, but just to be able Why to not? kind of bridge the gap. I yeah. mean, I'm just trying to just be realistic at the yeah, moment. Yeah, for sure. Um, it would be nice, like tennis, to like almost back off, like the women and the men almost they play together, they piggyback off each other. It'd be nice to have events like that. I think that would be unbelievable to be able to showcase what we actually made of that we are we do play the same sport as the guys it just maybe a little bit shorter the course but everything else is the same the we've been the same weather exactly conditions right. same pressure same everything so i mean i'd love to see that gap bridged a little bit better and um, just for for people to come out and see what we what we're all about you know it's it is a fun sport even though it takes a long time it can be it's still fun that's where life happens. Listen, it can happen in a split second as well. You know, yes. some of the biggest moments in sport in general have happened on golf courses because of that reason. There is such a build-up, but there are these defining moments. Um, well, thank you for doing what you're doing every day and driving messages around conservation as well. I know that's something we haven't touched on and very, very, very important to you. But I think for the other young women who are following in this path, to be able to see someone actually doing it is probably the most yeah. important thing ever. So thank you so much for that. I'm going to thank say to you. anyone who can back, if you want to see more South African female golfers dominating, again, put your money where your mouth is. We need infrastructure. We need support. We need clubs to go to the right people. We can't just rely on the top tier to carry that flag. We need to support it from the ground up. So do what you can. And if you can, get out there and enjoy a round today because it's awesome.